Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with the Knob Creek Barrel Pick. That's right. And our store picks or barrel picks, are they worth it? Sorry. Should you just stick with the normal Knob Creek? Well, I got to tell you what. We're going to test it! Knob Creek style. Single barrel style. Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're in. I got 227. Uh, 226. Woo! So, anyway, our store recently got in. Auburn Spirits uh, yeah. teamed up with uh, the Flight Club. It's a local whiskey club. Like a team. They did a pick on a Knob Creek. <laughs> now, this one, okay, here, here's here's the moral of the story. More. There's, there's a lot of these out there. Barrel a, picks. A lot of barrel picks. A lot sure. of stores picking their own barrels. Right. This review isn't necessarily just about this bottle. But it's kind of about the genre in in general, and are they worth it? I mean, what do you get? That's a good point for that, right? Because, because unless you're in Kansas and maybe even Wichita, you can't necessarily get this, right? But you can go. There's a lot of stores out there that are getting single barrel, barrel picks. especially knob knob creeks, right? This one happens to be 14 years old and it is 60 percent. That's what I was going to say. So a lot of barrel picks, it's a little bit older, or sometimes 12 years. But it's usually that single barrel, that higher proof. Yeah. And that alone, we're both fans of a higher proof whiskey. Yeah. We're Why? getting there. We've gotten there. I've been there. Why? I think it, well, I think it depends on where you are in your journey. Okay. Good point. When, when good we point. were new, I can remember anything over 43% Came in hot. was really hot. And I was like, I'm going to have to add some water sure. to this I remember one. hitting 50%, I thought was, whoo, that's yeah. hot. Yeah. Nowadays, though, we prefer stronger whiskeys right. because you can bring it down to where you like. That's one. Two, it just, the longer you're in, the more you're tasting, the more you kind of want that punch right up front. Mm -hmm. And then the second part for me is definitely what you just said. You, you can control the dilution of your whiskey. Yeah. And so you can but find out, I like that. No dilution at all, or you know what? I like to take that down to what's probably forty six percent. Yeah, and that's my sweet spot. That's your sweet spot. That's what you want. It becomes your whiskey. Now, so the the, the standard Knob Creek, I, I believe, I think it used to have a nine year age statement on it, oh, which they removed. Tell that is, yeah, yeah. I think it's seven, between seven and nine okay. years old. Sure. Uh, fifty fifty percent ABV. So we've gone to an age stated for, with our store pick, a fourteen year, sixty percent ABV. I'm gonna call you one of your quotes. I lost a few nose hairs. Yeah, right there. I nosed a little deep. <laughs> but ah, the caramels. The majority of your Knob Creek store picks are coming in twelve, thirteen, fourteen years old. Right. Uh, Matt did tell me though that Knob Creek had told them the 14-year-old barrels are getting fewer and fewer just because right. of the, the interest of how many okay. people are buying them. That's tall. The man. majority now are 13-year-old, mm. and I think they're even moving towards some 12-year-old single wow. barrels. But when you look at a non-age statement or a 7- to 9-year-old and going up to a 12, 13, or a 14-year-old at a higher ABV, is it worth it? This is informative so far. And I want to tell you, so there's one of our whiskey hats. All right, so what you can do is this is a poker chip, challenge coin, ceramic. We happen to have our Spartan helmet on this one. Uh, what it works for is it really captures and holds in those aromas on a Glencairn glass. Uh, we're down to maybe 100 of these left, so if you want one, come get it now. But they... Not only do they look great at the bar in your pocket, they have a function. I had two more coins in here ready to go. Good so call. we got Throw uh, it on there. 235 and 236. This is on my normal Knob Creek that you can buy in any store. The small batch at 50%, or just Knob Creek, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, small batch at 100 all proof. Right. Are you ready for my nosing notes on the barrel pick? Let's do it. All right. First barrel of pick. all, go in cautious. Okay. <laughs> Your barrel pick, our barrel pick, probably higher proof. Come in soft. Open your mouth a little bit, and that's going to cut down on what could be some of the burn as you nose it. Caramels from here to Dark. eternity. Yeah. 
dark caramels, a lot of cinnamon. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Knock Creek's always got a good cinnamon on it anyway. A little bit of spice. Oak. Yeah. Good oak ribbon running through it. Wow. I mean, this is just... Uh, uh, the sweetness is right there on the forefront. Rich, velvety nose, cinnamons. Mm. Everything's kicking in those 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 little taste. Ooh, what you got? Mm. The age comes through. It, it sucks the moisture out of your mouth. A little bit of uh, mm. astringency. A lot of oak on the palate. The caramels, cinnamons, wow. rich bourbon. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like lightning in a bottle. Woo. Now, like I say, don't just pin this down to our this exact bottling here. Sure. Any of your Knob Creek store picks, this is what you're you're getting a 13 year old, a yeah. 14 year old bourbon. You're getting a higher ABV. Yeah, and they're usually going to make quite an impression, and that's why the store or whomever is tasting and picking them anyway. Want another one? That's uh, yeah. pretty hefty. Yeah. There's two drops, you're going to go three. three. He's going on a three dropper on that one. I'm going to go hefty one, hefty two. All right. Um, that's a very good point, though. And I will tell you, Knob Creeks, for me, tend to be, across the board, a little more astringent or dry yeah. than a lot of different whiskeys. And that's fine. It's just that, that astringency is just the dryness that you're going to feel in your mouth. I've got to wait. I was, to, I was going to move yeah, to the small I'm batch. Try it. Well, I'm going to try a little bit. I'm going to give a couple of sips here really? to the uh, the store pick. Okay, I'm going to try a little small batch here. Well, the nose much softer off the bat as you would expect. It's also been open for longer, a little more oxidization. Uh, still got a lot of oak influences, brown sugars. Very nice. Brown on the, on the store pick, the single barrel Knob Creek, 14 mm. years old. So much caramel, so much cinnamon, yeah. so much oak, so much brown sugar. The age shows is delicious. Right. All I'm right. going to... So the small batch, brown sugars, brown sugars, brown sugars, with spice touch and wood notes throughout. It's what Knob Creek's known for. Delicious, refreshing, warm, sweet, savory, and it tastes refined. So, again, coming back to the barrel pick. Now, we did open this, let it breathe just for a little bit. Um, things will change with oxidization, but at this proof, you're going to get your money's worth. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. Whatever your barrel pick is, if you see a high proof, you're probably looking at a quality bottle with a lot of ABV. Even going to the small batch, yeah, it's lighter. Yeah, um, there's not as much cinnamon. Yeah, there's not as much depth. There's not as much caramel. Still very good. It mm -hmm. is lighter overall. Still doesn't feel like a non-age statement or a, between a seven to nine year old. Still does feel like a nine to, I mean, it feels a little bit older. It feels good. Not far behind the 14 year old, but just the 14 year old. I'm a Knob Creek fan. I will tell you, before we ever got into whiskey, I picked up a Knob Creek uh, probably... 2000 and I would I would take and sip on it whenever there was either a very sadish event or a very good event and I just used it to kind of mark a memory and that's because it really does put a time stamp on something special that you know you're tasting something that's not unique and I think that's what Knob Creek brings in even you know, the small batch over, a, over a, a barrel pick, you can tell it's got quality inside and it's something special. Score-wise, or looking at these when you go to, to the, the small batch 50 percenter, it's good. But when you pull in that 60 percent 14 year next to it, it's so much richer. There's so much more depth. All of the flavors are amplified. The astringency is am amplified, though, too. There is more of that, that time time stamp on there that 14 years that sucks the moisture out of your mouth it's several points higher i mean if i'm scoring i'm thinking this is like a 88 89 and this is like a 92 93 it's four or five points higher really i don't know if i'd put it that far higher. yeah um i think i mean that initial lightning strike <clears throat> of that high abv definitely says 
bam, look at me, here I am. But I see there are small batches like a, uh, it's almost like a chef serves you up with a meal that he or she wants you to get a specific profile. Here it is, I made this for you. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is full this blast way. in your face. This is gonna be the, the, the store, store pick. pick. This is gonna be full blast in your face. And you got to do a little bit of do it yourself on where you want it. I put several drops in this. I would bring this one down a yeah. little bit further. I would even take another drop or two. Okay, I'll further. give you another but. drop. But that's the difference. To me, you want another one? Yep. Look at that. That's yeah. some hefty, hefty drops. So the uh, small batch to me is like served up perfection. I wouldn't add any water, nor yeah. have I, to that at That's all. That's true. I have not. I have yeah. Any. It seems like it's something a chef has created and plated for you. Whereas this is, here's the full out balls to the wall. That's a fighter pilot statement with the, uh, with yeah. the control stick. It's not dirty. And then you take it where you want it. This is Dodge Challenger. This is the demon. Um, Hellcat. Hellcat. There That's the go. Hellcat. Yeah. I'm with you. There you go. Hellcat. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that that the way the body looks. It's such a yeah. throwback with the modern in there. I'm with you as far as the uh, the Challenger goes. That's this perfect. Is... That's the Hellcat. Now here's, That's here's the Challenger. So you, there there can be some differences. You go to your store in uh, Tennessee. You go to your mm -hmm. store in in Missouri, mm -hmm. and you get their store pick. You're getting an older Knob Creek. You're getting a higher ABV. There's going to be some differences. You might not get the same notes we're getting. Yeah. Um, to me, several points higher. Price point. What? Well, I don't know. I, I thought you hit it with the the Dodge Challenger mm -hmm. or the crafted plated meal from the chef and uncut yeah. all power. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Price point though, I guess I don't remember what this is versus. I know that's forty something. Uh, I think this is thirty five dollar range. Something okay. like that. This is this was forty five dollars. Wow, that's a great price for a fourteen year old. Phenomenal price. Sixty percent ABV. Right. High quality. Um, high high proof. Um, Twelve year old Elijah Craig barrel proof. If you're lucky and you're in a good state, you find it for forty five dollars. If you're really lucky. Average probably seventy dollars. Seventy five. This is on par with I mean it's probably I'm still giving the I'm not gonna say. But this is on this you're is right. right there with it. What you almost said, I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this. The uh, yeah. Knob Creek's really been around and and made their their mark and their high quality. They're very good. Um and uh Big fan of this. Mm -hmm. Big fan of both. Yeah. Good stuff. I could see me heading back and buying another bottle or two just to have in reserve on uh, the shelf. Yeah. yeah. At that price, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Yep. Um, if I was going to score it, um, I'd give them, uh, they're both a 90. I, I find them both about the same rating. All I'm saying is this one is crafted for you by a chef, a chef, a chef, a chef. This one is given to you with a little bit of do it yourself, which can be better. I would not drink this one at the strength it is. I would bring it down. So what? You had a subtle nod of your head. No, both being a 90. No. I'm not this just going to elevate year the, old, the deal yeah. just because of the proof, no. though. Well, I not. believe there's some chef crafting going the on. The flavors are, are, it's all amplified. It's all good. Traveling dummy. Let's go traveling. <laughs> Parts wrong. I'm right. <laughs> Isaac Mittendorf. Hmm. Now we've talked Great about Isaac. Name. We love the name. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, came on to Patreon. Hmm. He commented a while back. Uh, as far as our traveling dummy yeah, pick. Mittendorf. Uh, him and some buddies were just Man. doing a, a a Teeling whiskey tasting Ooh, and a Scotch Malt Whiskey and Society. You gotta tasting. love the bottles. You're seeing it now. Look at that perfect display of the Spartan helmet. Yep. By the way, take notice of the thin blue line. That's all I'm gonna say. Time for our Patreon shoutouts. We love Patreon. Love Great it. uh, support it's, network. It's currently where we get the it's, most support. Yes. Merch helps. YouTube a little bit. Patreon, huge. Yeah. 
Uh, don't be if you come in and you back us for three years and you have to leave. If you have to lower whatever. your donation, whatever. Uh, we appreciate yeah, all the if support. You're giving you give a us. dollar. Good. If you give a thousand two hundred dollars, unbelievable. Uh, we had two guys recently. They were with us for a while. They had to drop drop down, drop That's out. Right. They've come back. Right back. So the shout outs to both of them, Chandler Tindall. And how much? Ooh, it's Thank $2. you, Chandler. Do we yell it again? Well, I, I don't remember. Should. I don't remember where they were at before. I think he's at a two now. He gets it yelled. I want to. Well, then say they Chandler. can just come in and leave and come back and come in and leave. Say their name a lot. They could. They could back. game with us. Yeah. They could make us yell and shout their names. Well, well let's let them play with us once. Chandler. Chandler. <laughs> they could leave, come back, leave, come yeah, back. Yeah. Keep, yeah. Shouting keep shouting my out. name, dummies. <laughs> And then here's the, I love Carl's last name. Now Carl, remember, the W has a V in it. Yep. Carl was with us for a yes. while. He dropped out. He's returned. That's right. He's come back. So, so are you, you ready? Yep. Carl, Carl Van Vollenham. Vollenham. I think it's Vellum. Vellum? Vellum. 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 Von Vellum. Carl Von Vellum. We've said his name five times now. <laughs> it's a very powerful name. It is a powerful yes. name. Good name. Carl Van right. Vollenham. Yes. Are we saving? Uh, and then, yeah, John will get his saving. own. John will get his own. Yep. All right. Carl Van Villen. Uh Knob Creek store picks or uh, single barrel picks. Don't Look be afraid to give them a try. Look, Look for, for those. Because you're, getting, you're getting age statements. Yeah, you're getting higher proofs. If you see it, don't hesitate. Pick one up. You may mm -hmm. find yourself going back and picking up a couple more. You're ready to close, my friend. Let's do it. We're still working off of our toast, which is a little bit of an augment to our standard toast. When you drink with us, you never drink alone. We toast to family, friends, good health, and home. Pour an Irish, a bourbon, a rye. But if you scotch. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.